and sisters welcome to another episode of short bread today i just want to bless you with a word that i feel is very timely <clears throat> god put in my heart today this this i don't think it's only for it's for all of us it's for me it's for it's 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 for now <laughs> okay let me just read this the famous john 3 verse 16 i'm gonna start there uh for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world. Another one I'm going to read from is John chapter 17. And this is Jesus praying to the Father, and he's praying for all of us, and he's praying for us. Brothers and sisters, the emphasis today is God's love for you. And I just feel in my heart to tell you that, God loves you. God loves you. He 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 loves us. And, and he's with us at this time. And I just want to read this. John 17 verse 23 says, I and them, you and me, that they may be made perfect in one, that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them as you have loved me. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, today I want you to know that the same way God loves Jesus, He loves you. He loves you. You are a child of God. You are a son of God. He cares for you. He loves you. He is with you. Sure, He's with you. And He just wants you to know how much he loves you. I'm going to read another verse. Sure. This is from the book of Matthew. And the fact that Jesus said, Jesus, man, come on. <laughs> Jesus said, Jesus, in his prayer, in John 17, verse 23, he says, Father, so that they may know that you have loved them as you have loved me. Uh, for me, that's just like, that just blows my mind. Sorry, let's go back to John 1. I was going to, let's go to John 1. And John 1 says, But as many as received him, John 1, John 1 verse 12, sorry. But as many as received him, to them he gave them the right to become the children of God, to those who believe in his name. Do you believe today, brothers and sisters, that you are a child of God? No matter where you are, no matter which season you are, I just want your hearts I believe God wants our heart to be truly assured that he loves us and we are his children. No matter which season we are in, we are sons of God. Do we truly, truly believe that? Do you truly believe you are a son of God? This is what the word says. God loves you. You are a son of God. Another verse. Another verse. Oh, man. I think I got closer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, man. John 3, uh, sorry, the book of Matthew, chapter 3, verse 16. This is Jesus being baptized. When he had been baptized, Jesus came up, came up immediately from the water. And behold, the heavens were opened to him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, alighting upon him. Sorry, alighting upon him. <coughs> and suddenly, a voice came from heaven, saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. If God, in John 17, verse 23, if Jesus, God himself, prayed to the Father, that Father, let them know that I have loved them as you have, you have loved them as you have loved me. I bet you that's what the Father is saying to you today. <coughs> Sorry. That you are his beloved son. You are his beloved daughter in whom he is well pleased. And I hope that tonight, just focus on how much he loves you. I'm just sharing with you today that he loves you. He loves you, he loves you, he loves you. He knows what you're going through, he knows your troubles, he knows your successes. Whether you are, whether the, even if you don't have worries today, I just want you to know that God loves you. <laughs> if you have troubles today and you have struggles, he's your father, he loves you, he's your daddy, you are a child of God. You have access to the throne of grace. You have access to your Father. He is in you. He lives and abides in you. 
and he just wants you to know how much he loves you and just just speaking to your father like i care for my kids like when something is wrong with my kids or when something my kids want or need something they don't have to beg and ask they will tell me and i will work hard or do anything for them the same way if i being a human being who's who's <laughs> who's been made perfect by the spirit but not perfect in thought deed and action <laughs> in word thought deed and action if I'm that, if I can do this for my kids, imagine how much God can do that for you. So that's my word today for you, brothers and sisters. Jesus loves you. God bless you.